Today, I'd like to demo the fabrication of a one-piece metal box. This box is going to be 16 by 13 and a half, and it's going to be 12 and a half inches tall. It's going to have a three-quarter inch lap seam and a half inch hem or safety edge. Cut size required will be 39 and a half by 42. Normally these boxes are made in three pieces, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So at the moment I am scribing my half inch hem or safety edge. Right now it is the sides. And all these sides are 12 inches and you'll see the pattern laid out in a few seconds. Making it one piece is often done for smaller boxes. So now you can see what the pattern looks like. Now all that's left is to go ahead and cut out the four corners. And the reason we don't or these one-piece boxes are less common is because of the waste that's happening on the corners. But again, it's for a demonstration and the procedures to fabricate this box is the same whether it's this size or a very small box. There, we've completed our gross pattern. Gross pattern means a pattern with all its allowances on it. So now the first thing that I'm going to do or we should do is bend all the hems. The safety edge is over. Nice and tight, which is 180 degrees. Do this to all four sides. Now, the best thing to do now is to bend two of these sides and the longer sides, which have my um, corner lap seams on, let's bend those up 90 degrees. It's just good practice to bend this up. But as you can see, I am bending the corner lap at the same time as the side. That was bent 90 degrees. And we go ahead and do this side also, which is the opposite side. Then the other two sides, or the last two sides, I'm gonna use the Magna Bend. So here I've just opened up my hems slightly, just a little bit to receive the corner lap coming up. I want to make sure that this lap seam, corner lap seam, is going to go on the inside of the box. So when you start bending, be careful that the seam doesn't want to go on the outside. Try holding it so it stays on the inside.
as you can see I'm pushing the sides out to allow this side to come up and into the hem. Now finish, finish it off by doing it the same thing to the other side. There. I'm now going to uh, fasten my corners using the spot welder. This uh, other methods can be used. You could pop rivet, you could uh, screw, uh, or even if it's a heavier gauge, you can weld it. And the completed box is 16 by 13 and a half, and it measures 12 and a half inches tall.